evening, mortals. My name is Jay, and welcome to a shit house tour here on the Obelia SMP. So, coming through one of my two doors, we have my teleport waypoint, so it brings people straight into the house and they don't get mauled by zombies on their way in. Now, I've kind of started collecting and gathering birds, so I needed somewhere to put them. So, I put little shells with little nests. Each little nest shell has two birds, apart from this one, which I only have one parrot. Uh, the birds don't have names yet. Because I have more birds than I have name tags. So I need to get more name tags so I can name all the birds. But aside from that, I hung up all this nice foliage. Honestly had no idea what to do down here, and if in doubt, just throw foliage at it. Um, this is going to be a fish tank. I don't have any fish to put in it. Ideally, I want an axolotl, the pink one, to go with the pink house, because animals are for the aesthetic. So we have a cute little table we can have in our bird room. And the reason why you can't hear the birds is because... They're very noisy. And scream constantly. Which is accurate to actual birds. Tests my sanity slightly. This staircase was originally brown, and then I made it pink. Because I thought, mm, too much brown, so I need more pink. As if this place wasn't pink enough. And then this is the main body of the building. As you can see, we've got these split level floors. This is just a utility room. Very, very, very non-exciting. Here is one of my more cuter rooms. It's my kitchen. So as part of the Abelia mod pack, we have Farmer's Delight, which, if you're familiar with it, you will know adds all sorts of cooking and food items. So it gives us the stove, chopping boards, various cooking pots. We have the Miner's Delight add-on, which adds the copper pot. I have my brewing stand. I just like putting my brewing stuff in the kitchen because it's the only place where it really feels like it fits. And, and this, this, this is my favourite part of the entire house. We have indoor plumbing. Turn this on. And water flows out. Isn't this fabulous? So this will fill the cauldron up and you basically have infinite water from this one small spot. I do think this is how plumbing works in real life, but I'm no expert. So this is our super cute and small breakfast bar. We have breakfast at. I ate breakfast and didn't just eat steak constantly. And this floor is empty. Why is this floor empty? Because I have no idea what the hell I want to put. Maybe I'll turn it into a living room. Maybe I'll use it as like a hobby room for some of the mods. Display some of the random shit I've built. And this is the library. That's missing an enchanting table. I, I just need to actually grind the game and get an enchanting table. This is the brazier. Definitely didn't forget what it was called like 80 times. Yeah, this is our cute little fireplace. Desk to study at. And then there's this fly. This fly got into the house while I was building it, so I decided that I should trap it here forever. And this is the bedroom, which is very pink. I kind of like the colour pink. First I've got cute little sofas to sit on. Drawers of things. And the only clock in this clock house. Yes, I live in a giant clock and I only have one clock. Under these little arches are basically little walk-in wardrobes. I've just thrown up some of the random armour I have. And these are the backpack shelves as part of our backpack mod. It lets us display the backpacks. So this is the only special backpack I've unlocked. As you can see you can customise it and you can unlock all these variations. The only one I've got is the trash can for using the compost far too much. But yeah these are just more little shelves, if in doubt throw books. And we've got these lanterns that turn on and off. You can't really tell because it's daytime but they do turn on and off. Cute little pink bed. It's single because I have no woman in my life. Then up top is this room. Um, no idea what this is for. Maybe I'll turn it into a guest bedroom with um, a low ceiling. And lastly, we have the calcite pendulum thing. Is it a pendulum? Is it something else? I don't know. But yes, yeah, the big swingy thing in the inside of the grandfather clock. There's a heart because. There's a bit of theme going on if you haven't noticed. Is that another pillager room? I've had like six of them while I was decorating my house. I think these um, pillagers need to like politely fuck off. Yeah, there they are. Fucking pleasant bastards. It's fine, I'll deal with them later like I've dealt with all their friends. I think there's a couple like out in the ocean that way. That kind of just swam off into the distance together. It's almost romantic. 
So yeah, so I'm making this little um, update video. Just, you know, look, I am doing things. I am <laughs> hard at work. College is kind of kicking my ass at the moment. These bastards want me to study for tests and do coursework. Fucking ridiculous. As I just said, next project. Get suitable homing for animals. My poor horses have been stuck with everything else this entire time. Uh, I'd like to acquire an axolotl. to go in my little heart-shaped pond. And acquire wealth, because we're broke as fuck right now. So I'd like wealth and money. Because wealth and money mean women. But yes, obviously Obelia is- Are they in the fucking water again? Where are you going? It's just ocean. Villagers really like the sea, that's all I've learned from Obelia, honestly. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little ramble and update. I'm gonna keep on grinding Obelia, and you'll have another video on here soon enough. So thank you for watching, and as the night draws in, I must bid you all a good night.